And now very quickly, we now turn the crack to Kirinyaga County, where the G7 summit is currently underway. And uh, this is being spearheaded or being uh, hosted by the Kirinyaga County um, governor, who also doubles up as the COG chair, that is Ann Waiguru. Our very own Abdi Aziz Hashim has been there. He's our eyes and ears on the ground. Hashim, indeed, we've made significant strides. As far as women leadership is concerned, looking at the 2017 polls, where we moved from three governors, female governors, to now seven. What more can you tell us from this particular summit in Kirinyaga? Indeed, Arangi, have just clearly stated we're here at the Kirinyaga Stadium, and of course, any moment from now, we do anticipate the seven female governors to arrive. Already some leaders, legislators, and respectives of various devolved units, especially the seven key devolved units, have already arrived here, including nominated Member of Parliament, Sabina Chege. We do have the Member of Parliament, that is Naomi Wako, and the Registrar of Political Parties, Anderito, among other leaders, have already arrived here in the, in the this stadium. And of course, the Deputy Governor of Kirinyaga County has also been able to reach here, of course, in anticipation of Kirinyaga Governor, that is Anwai Guru, who doubles up at the Council of Governors. You do remember this is an event that was hosted back in Machakos County, hosted by none other than the Governor, that is Wavinya Ndeti. And currently, it is the turn of Kirinyaga County. This Women Governors Caucus has been happening across the country, especially in this seven key devolved units. You do know that the last time the COG Chair, that is Anwai Guru was speaking in Machakos County clearly stated that they will visit the various, not just the seven counties, but the whole devolved units, so as to ascertain where are we as a country in terms of development. The caucus, um, the caucus council has already arrived here, and of course, that is a caucus that is mandated to ensure that these uh, female governors have been able to ensure that the better programs that are being carried out, both at the national level and at the county level, are being adhered to, especially touching on women and children across the devolved unit. Now, right here in Kenyaga Stadium, we've been able to see a lot of activities and including some of the rich uh, farming practices or cultures in this particular devolved units being shown outrightly. And of course, we have even heard some of the residents are not just here from Kirinyaga, but the various counties, that is Machakos, Meru, Embu, all the way from Lamu and Homa, they are already here and of course anticipating once the governors do arrive. Of course, we do anticipate as well uh, politics to dominate this particular session. Aside from that, um, they've said that this particular particular issue is to ensure that a devolution is going on well and so that it can be ascertained where are we as a country. You know, it was just the other day we were celebrating as a country uh, this particular document called the 2010 Constitution that ushered in the devolution. Of course, the devolved units have been working. Aside from that, we've heard from the Council of Governors uh, complaining a lot when it comes to resources and in terms of disbursement, uh, talking about the Treasury not dispersing those funds at the accurate time, but to anticipating any moment from now, those governors to be addressing those particular issues and you do know what was happening in Nyeri uh, some of those leaders in Nyeri County also we have been informed that they will be coming here uh, to Kirinyaga County and of course it is just uh, any moment from now those uh, governors will be arriving here aside from that you do know that these devolved heads have been advocating for women leaders to vie for these particular positions uh, it was about 2017 though only three governors and right now there are seven they are targeting in 2027 to at least have more than 10 governors female governors vying for this particular positions so that it cannot be dominated by the males alone but for now Arangi we're still waiting as and when those governors arrive to the podium will be coming back to you live back to you Arangi thank you very much Hashim for that detailed report there definitely that's a story that you're tracking for you and Hashim is there for us momentarily he'll be giving us a detail um, reports on that particular story looking at just ways of transformative leadership as far as women leadership is concerned in this country. And now back to studio, public secondary schools principals are set to appear before the National Assembly Watchdog Committee on Education and Governance to respond to audit queries.